Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should be banned from the king's coronation, a recent poll has revealed. King Charles has come under renewed pressure to ban Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from his coronation after the couple took aim at the royal family in their new Netflix docuseries Meghan and Harry. While the couple's criticism was much lighter than expected, the couple has made a series of damaging allegations against the firm. According to a GB News poll released by People Polling on 1,231 respondents, 24% of Brits believe the Sussexes should be banned from next year's coronation in the wake of the Netflix release. In detail, the People Polling poll for GB News shows 17% of respondents completely agree with the statement, with an additional 7% somewhat agreeing. There are 18% of undecided. But those somewhat disagreeing and completely disagreeing are topping up 39%. Asked which royal couple best represents the values of Britain, 54% of interviewees believe Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, are a better fit. They are well ahead of Harry and Meghan, who are only supported by 7%. Meanwhile, 33% completely agree with Lady Susan Hussey resigning, while 16% completely disagree. The royal family has been rocked by a slew of back-to-back -back scandals, with the latest including Meghan and Harry's Netflix docuseries. A wave of allegations began when Meghan claimed a member of the firm raised concern about her baby Archie's skin color when she was pregnant. The claims gained renewed attention after Lady Susan Hussey resigned for making disparaging and racist comments to a black charity boss at Buckingham Palace. Ngozi Fulani, founder and chief executive of Britain's leading domestic abuse charity for women of African and Caribbean heritage, Sista Spice, described the traumatic encounter in which Lady Susan persistently asked her what part of Africa she came from. The racism row was then followed by Prince Harry and Meghan's two Netflix trailers, in which the couple gave a glimpse into the reasons that pushed them to leave the firm in 2020. The teasers has attracted international attention, bringing the Netflix series to the top of the charts and beating the Crown series. According to the independent ratings body Barb, the first episode of Harry and Meghan was watched by 2.4 million people on TV sets on its launch day, compared to 1.1 million for The Crown's latest season on day one. That is the biggest single-day audience for any Netflix show since the streamer joined ratings body Barb in October. Episode 2 attracted 1.5 million viewers, and Episode 3 clocked up a tally of 800,000. While most of the documentary deals with negative media treatment, the couple also took a dig at the royal family over racism in what appears to be the main reason for their departure from the firm. Harry accused his family of unconscious bias that blinded them to the struggles he and Meghan experienced in the years and months leading up to their dramatic departure. These are the skeletons in the closet that frequently make an unwelcome appearance in daily life in this family. Sometimes, you know, you're part of the problem rather than part of the solution, and there is a huge level of unconscious bias, Harry said. The thing with unconscious bias, it is actually no one's fault. But once it has been pointed out or identified within yourself, you then need to make it right, he said. It remains unclear how and when King Charles will respond to the accusations. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams reportedly warned that further attacks from Harry and Meghan could result in the royals cutting all ties with the California-based couple. According to an express.co.uk poll, 93% of respondents believe the Sussexes should not be invited to King Charles' coronation in May of next year. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.